will be discussing adding a reader to the NSC 200. The NSC 200 is a successor to the NSC 100, which has been discontinued. The NSC 200 is a power over the Ethernet subcontroller capable of supporting two doors or two in and out doors. The NSC 200 only supports OSTP readers, which is what we will be adding here today. You will add the NSC 200 as a regular subcontroller by right clicking on the main controller, clicking add, adding subcontroller. In this instance, we have already added the NSC 200 and given it an IP address. As you can see, the NSC 200 has six inputs, four outputs, and two readers. We'll add a door by right clicking on the first reader, clicking add door, using the default template. In here, we're going to identify the door by giving it a test description. We're going to click door objects. We're going to go down to the reader section and click edit. In here, we're going to click reader properties. By default, the reader LED configuration should be grayed out and no SCP reader should be selected. On other subcontrollers, you will have to hit the drop down and select OSTP reader. By default, the baud rate should be auto negotiate. This is a first reader in line, so the physical address will be zero. You do have the options of selecting between zero and three, depending on what reader you are adding. Once this is selected, we'll hit OK. We'll hit Yes. We'll press OK and hit Yes. The reader is now being downloaded to the controller, and you should be done.